Hello YouTubers, this is uh, just a quick video on the Bowen Designs Painted Apocalypse Statue or N Saba Nu. I hope I'm pronouncing that name right, Alex, that sound right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, this is number 928 of 2500. Uh, 926, but... 926, okay. thanks very much. Um, we checked this. This didn't come with a colour box when I purchased it because uh, I got it on the secondary market and I paid about seventy pounds for this. Now, usually with a box and everything else and in the conditions it in, it usually costs about three hundred. Um, Alex knows a little bit more about the character than I do, but he's one of my favourite villains. If you haven't noticed already by my collection, most of it is either anti-heroes or villains. It's pretty much the sort of standard I like. Yeah, this is sculpted by the Kucherak brothers uh, and Randy Bowen. It's a really nice piece. It's a fantastic colour. I don't think any pictures really do this any justice. We're just going to spin it around, have a little look all throughout. It's about 15 and a half inches tall. Good uh, muscle definition there on the arm. I know yeah. there's been a few problems with Bowen and muscles on arms. But uh, it's certainly biceps, yeah. Yeah. I think that was the Colossus and... Uh, What's the other one? Something else as well, isn't there? Yeah, the Wolverine legendary scale form, legendary scale piece. Actually, both his arms are in a funny. You know, they don't seem to get the angle very much, very close to being right. For some reason, they either turn the biceps too far in or turn them too far out, and it just looks absolutely ridiculous. But in fairness, you know, you do the best with what you, what you can do. Right, I'm just going to go down now to the uh, sort of legs now. Carry on with spinning. No problem, DJ. I kind of like the fact that this is really comic accurate. The premium format has just been released. I don't know if anybody's seen. I don't think it's actually been videoed yet. But the bottom line is, it's come out. It's, tw it's like thirty plus inches tall, and it looks like a cross between. Uh, what did you call it, Alex? The Hulk and who? Uh, well, there's a video where they show the uh, the show with the Hulk, and uh, I think it's the Gladiator Hulk. It just shoot. looks absolutely and monstrous. It's, it's really big, and then he's got the chainsaw attachment, which uh, again, it just just makes it too tall to to sort of store anywhere. As uh, you know, actually, it's, well, talking about too big. I mean, we 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 think we've spoken previously about the Gal the Galactus one, which uh, would love to have, but at, I think 33, 34 inches, there's just nowhere you can you can store That's that. That's a beautiful guy. piece, that market. The yeah. only thing is, is, like I say, this to me is much more comic accurate. This is what I remember Apocalypse being like. This is what I remember him like in X Men. His face is very much like. If you would sculpt to this, give a good look at this sculpt on his face. It literally just looks like exactly how I remember Apocalypse. Not emotional, completely calm, just un really impressed by everything around him and for some reason the uh, premium format sideshow version seems to be I love sideshow stuff they're both, definitely some of my favourite work comes from them but sometimes the things they do I, I'm well, not too sure about you get too carried away with the muscles and actually his bicep there does look a bit did it look turned again? no yeah, not turned just a bit funky but um, do you want to whack his hand out and we're going to go for his uh his yeah, so the good, hand. one of the good things about these pieces is that it comes with an alternative display hand I don't know if you can see here, but it's quite magnetising. If you see this, Alex, when you just put this, it's like on a peg, literally just it's quite slips in and out, and it is on a peg as well. It's yeah. pretty good, no problems there. Right, it actually comes with a little turn it. This one's a little bit funkier to get on. It comes with like sort of a like nice plasma cannon type thing going on, and you've got to make sure this is a quite it can be quite fiddly, so you've got to make sure you hit the spot. Right in the right place, and it, yeah. <laughs> it just sits in as it should. Really, really nice piece. Yeah. Like I said, actually, Alex prefers this with the cannon. Personally, I like the hand much I more. I do like the cannon, and uh, yeah, I mean, I haven't actually seen the sideshow one in person, but I've seen the video, and I'm, I weren't 100 percent sure about the, uh, the chainsaw. It just looked a bit too, too big. And the spikes that didn't really look just that too detailed. built though, Alex, as well. The Magaius is absolutely monstrous. Just another way to slow down there on the gun. Let's get a little good close up of that there. Pretty nice though, isn't it? Oh, yeah. So it's good to have a little bit of a variant display. And uh, well, this is when this is displayed. Uh, normally, the uh, the alternate head of uh, Doctor Doom will sit very nicely uh, in the hand, almost like it was. It was made to be there. I mean, I, I don't really know whether those two characters have ever actually met, but you know. I like to just display them like this, just literally slip the head 
in his hands it's sort of like you just play around with it but it does actually fit in there quite nicely just like so and literally that position there you can see if you step away from it it's just like he's holding it up in front of his face quite quite nicely and then that goes quite nicely next to the uh, your Thanos statue which uh, well you need to have the two hold, yeah, you, yeah you have them together and he's holding his uh, his skull uh, if you can see there too many lights and reflective uh, shouldn't you pull down cupboard it over here yeah, okay. so he's got he's holding the skull there that was actually just meant to be a quick quick shot which turned into a bit more of a pain in the arse than I thought it was going to uh, here's his uh, comic which uh, is X-Men 377 it was just uh, I mean I'd, I'd like to see if anyone knows any better uh, covers with uh, Apocalypse on, but we've, we've struggled so hard to find uh, a cover. Um, and then there's the uh, card, which again I think is another Marvel masterpiece, masterpiece which uh, again we, we was really struggling with uh, the comics for, for Apocalypse. Um, Definitely the artwork was a bit more. What was the one I, uh, I, I, I gave you, George? Do you remember? You gave me the Messiah Wars with cable on the front of it. Again, it looks more like a sideshow piece, overly muscled. There was a couple of other ones I no, had. I gave you a different one as well. No, I remember, I think it was like in some English variant. Potentially, yeah, I'm not too sure off the top of my head. We'll display him today with his cannon in instead of his arm. Again, it looks amazing. Right. Next and to uh, Thanos, two ridiculous uh, enemies, ridiculous villains, two of the best. It's a little uh, up to down, I mean, it's quite hard to see these with this, this light on. I'll, I'll try and uh, turn that off and then turn it back on just because just of the glare. But, uh, oh fuck no, you can't do that. <laughs> yeah, you can see uh, a bit well, easy. you can see yeah, that, but then when I move down, I'll, I'll turn it back. It's just a glare. And then we'll, we'll actually do like a whole up to down, because I don't think we've actually done that yet. We're going to move on to, to these guys soon. And uh, there you go. That's, that's that. And that's, uh, that's a wrap.